Welcome once again to to this month we are continuing. We are now in the 25th film as the time you're watching this. But we are taking a look at the sequel to The Mummy. Yeah, I probably mentioned that. The sequel to The Mummy. This time we're taking a look at The Mummy Returns. Not a very good movie. There's a lot of things I did not like about this film. And that is because of the cringeworthy special effects. The biggest problem is, and the story is bland. I almost would have called this guilty pleasure if if the plot was actually really good. Let's just check it over there. But if the plot was actually good. But ultimately, it's just not very good. But let's actually talk about the film. This is a sequel to the 1990 film, 1990, yeah, 1999 movie, The Mummy, which was a reboot of those old Universal Monster films based upon Mummy. This time we have the return of, I think it was, uh, Rick O'Connor, played by Brendan Fraser. This guy also includes the likes, like I said, Brendan Fraser. It also has Rachel Weiss, John Hanna, Arnold Va Vosloof, Otis U Uda Farah, Patricia Vecras, and The Rock. And he plays the Scorpion King, who's supposedly the villain in this film. But he's very, he's very rarely in the film. He's at the very beginning and the very end of the film. He's not utilized. And that's the problem I have. The special effects are just laughable to cringeworthy. The problem I had with this movie was the dosage of special effects. What happened? I mean, yeah, it's 2001 and that's when the film came out. They're using 2001 special effects, but it looks so bad. Nothing in this film is good. Like I said, it would have been a guilty pleasure if I cared about the plot, but it had the bland plot, bland plot, some of the actors were phoning in lines, it looked like they are totally phoning, it looked like they didn't give a crap. Just, the special effects only killed this film. I would have liked, if the special effects were really cool, I would like the film. But just like Mystery Men, which also had bad special effects, but at least I enjoyed that movie. This movie, on the other hand, just did not work because of special effects. The heavy usage of CG looked real bad. The design of Rock, he turns into Scorpion, looked real bad. The creature effects looked terrible. But yeah, this is where, in case, I would say it's pretty bad. And I'm sitting there like, where is the Scorpion King? Where is he at? Not a very good movie. The only saving grace to this is, is the special features and the cold discard. As you can see right here. I was watching the widescreen version because that's the one I own. I would have probably rather had this in full screen because I had the other films in full screen. But that discard is so cool. How do you get cool disc art in a bad film with cool special features? I'm going to talk about special features, though. There were some pretty cool special features, though. Uh, you get a, an exclusive conversation with The Rock, which actually that's in the beginning of the film. When you start the film, you get a sneak peek of The Scorpion King. I guess the reason why they didn't use Scorpion King in this is because they're trying to wait for that film the Scorpion King to come out, which would come out in the summer of 2002. Also, unlock secrets, uh, Scorpion King DVD, unlocks, unlock secrets of Scorpion King, which I don't think you can watch that. Spotlight location, as always, Universal does these spotlight locations, the making of the mummy returns, Vis visual and special effects format, a feature commentary outtakes, a live music video forever may not be long enough, Apple, uh, Egyptian Log 201 uh, and Theatrical Trailer. There actually is some more additional stuff. There's a recommendation section, but there's no trailers to that. There's a trailer to a Mummy Returns PlayStation 2 game, which actually looks pretty fun. That might be more fun than this turd, if I want to qualify it. There's the chain, there's this universal traction. There's a special offer with Scorpion with uh, Mummy Returns which is just basically an advertisement for Universal Studios Hollywood, which is probably the best part of it. That attraction ride is probably by far the best part of the special features section, and it's worth keeping alone for that. 
and much, much more. So, I think those are deleted scenes. But I think that I think I covered a lot of the special features. For an early DVD, that's really cool. So, I guess that means final verdict, though. Should you see Mummy Returns? It comes to whether you really like the series or you just want to see bad special effects. But I would probably say stay far away from Mummy Returns. It was really hard to get past. I just did not enjoy this version. And I remember in 2001 this was such a big deal. It was really a big deal to see this film. But ultimately it was a giant mess. Would have been guilty pleasure of the special effects. I'm sitting there howling because of how bad it is. The beginning when they're in London riding that ride is really cool. But after that it just got too stale. It was a very stale film. Did not work. It's pretty bad. I watched Niebuhr Rubber Review and they're totally right. This is just not a good movie. Just like Gladiator, I just did not like Mummy Returns. I will have to keep this because of the special feature and two special features. Maybe a couple. I, I will go back to it though. It's a matter of preference. If you want to see, again, bad special effects, I guess see this film. If you want to see a guilty pleasure, this, again, I would call it a guilty pleasure, but I didn't enjoy it. So yeah, I know what a movie is, and I know what it is, and I spot another turd for the not quite universal mum. So that's my review of Mummy Returns. Do not see this film. If you do want to see a mummy film, go watch the first mummy movie, one from ninety nine, or its third film, which I have not watched, uh Too Many Emperor's Dragon. I heard that one is Fantastic. And Rachel Rice is not in that. They replaced her with Maria Bello. So, I will not be covering the third one, maybe for next year. Or I'll probably watch my own time. If I do watch in my own time, I'll let you know. It's, it's certainly better than the Tom Cruise Mummy. I will never review that film. I've already watched it, and that film is a disaster, too. I wanted to like it, but only special effects just, it went downhill. It went up really good because already I was enjoying the first half. I thought it was fun, and then it went downhill once they had more special effects. So avoid this film at all costs, unless you want to see bad special effects. That's The Mummy Returns. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff, and I will catch you... In the next review, hopefully it's a better film. Catch you guys later. They all can't be winners.